Hey guys, I am back again and I have some information that I wanted to share about the Sheer Lume Brightening Cream. So I have been getting lots of questions about this because it just came back in stock, right? It's been gone forever. And when it came back, a lot of people, it's been gone so long that a lot of people had not heard of it and hadn't used it yet. And so I posted something in here about it and I asked if anyone wanted to learn more and learn how I use it and why I like it so much. So I wanted to jump in here and talk about Sheer Lume and just talk a little bit about, um, a little bit about skincare in general because um, skincare, well, I did a little makeup live just a little bit ago and I didn't know much about makeup. I also didn't know a lot about skincare before I went to an event with Young Living called Beauty School where they actually gave us a ton of information on skin and skincare and why you'd want to take care of your skin and some information about um, premature aging and things like that. And so we actually I have some information right here that I was going to share with you, but we actually got to do something really cool where we got a scan of our face and it showed um, the sun damage and it showed the vascular supply and it was really amazing. And if you ever have an opportunity to go to a Young Living Beauty School event, I highly recommend it because you can learn more about just skincare in general. But I was gonna read some stuff that I learned from that event and then I'll talk specifically about Shirley May. But they were talking about, um, and I, it was a whole course, like a whole entire weekend long. I think it might have been a three-day event, so I got so much information. But I wanted to share a couple of things that goes along with the Shirley May um, because seven, kind of, they talk about like seven signs of aging, fine lines and wrinkles, harsh skin texture, uneven skin tone, um, dullness, enlarged pores, age spots, and sagging right um but you know i know there are a lot of different procedures that people are going out now and and doing on on their skin and um you know everyone can choose to do whatever they want but sometimes those things are really expensive and sometimes they have side effects right um you know people are doing botox and different things and everyone's free to choose but i like to choose just a more natural way and if there's something um, that Young Living has that's easy to use and it's not going to have any harmful side effects, I would way rather do that. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And I um, do have some skin damage and sun damage and I've been in the sun a lot and, you know, obviously enemies to skincare moving forward um, or just that have affected our skin from when we were little until now are, you know, the sun, which is like the biggest. I think sun damage is responsible for, it says 90% of all premature aging. So some people are like me are sun lovers. I'm not going to stay out of the sun um, completely. You can take precautions and wear, you know, Young Living's mineral sunscreen and stuff like that. But um, I just wanted to cover some things that we could pay attention to. Um, so sun, pollution, stress, smoking, sudden change in your diet, processed foods, free radicals. Um, those are all things that can lead to premature aging that we can kind of have some control over, right? We can control what we eat, what we put on our skin, how much time we spend in the sun, if we wear a hat or if we wear sunscreen, um, things like that, choosing to not smoke or whatever. Um, but I also wanted to talk about uh, what we can do about it with um, what we have available to us that is not harmful to our bodies and doesn't have crazy side effects. So um, there is a skincare regimen that is definitely recommended and I didn't know about it, but there's five steps to taking care of our skin. I have this page of notes right here. I didn't want it to fall, but there are five steps to taking care of our skin. And I didn't know this. I've talked about it before, but I'm going to review them really quick because when you use the Sheer Lume, it's going to have the best effects if you prepped your skin kind of in the right way. So it's important, first of all, for us to do these five steps or at least four of them in the morning and in the evening, because when you first wake up in the morning, your skin has been we detoxify while we sleep and we detoxify through our skin so we release toxins and then they end up you know on the outside of our skin and they need to be cleaned off so 
I didn't ever think about that and I didn't use to wash my face. I didn't cleanse my face or really do anything in the morning. And then if you think about before you go to bed at night, you've been out and about all day. Um, you have gotten, you know, maybe bacteria on your face. Maybe you've gotten environmental pollutants or whatever you've been exposed to. So it's important to cleanse your face and do a skincare routine before you go to sleep at night. So the five steps are, the first step is to cleanse. And I like the Art Gentle Cleanser. There's also Orange Blossom, if you like that better. There is now um, the Orange Blossom Charcoal Bar Soap, which is awesome. So pick a cleanser that you like, but I like the Art Foaming Cleanser. Um, and I use that in the morning, every single morning. And then in the shower, I keep the bar soap, um, the charcoal bar soap, and I keep the orange blossom in there as well. So I alternate, but that's the first step is cleansing. So cleansing your skin, washing your face. The second step is toning and the art toner is the next step. And what that does is actually, I missed a step. The second step is actually exfoliating. So after you've washed your face, you exfoliate. And exfoliating doesn't need to happen every single time. It depends on your skin. But as we age, we need to exfoliate more often because it takes longer for the dead stuff to slough off. Like look at babies' faces and little kids' faces. They have like gorgeous skin, right? Several reasons for that. But their skin is regenerating a lot quicker. Um, they they don't have any of the sagging or the wrinkles or anything like that. But um, so exfoliating becomes more important as we age. And to determine whether you need to exfoliate or not, you can get a little piece of scotch tape, flip it over to the dry, the non-sticky side and rub it on your forehead. And if you get any like skin cells, then like if you see any like sloughed off skin cells on the back of the tape, then you need to exfoliate. Um, some people exfoliate once a week, other people, you know, two, three times, I could go every other day because I have pretty dry skin. So exfoliating is the second step. Then the third step is the toner. And so the Art Refreshing Toner is awesome. You can put it on just your hands and kind of pat it on your face. You can put it on a little cotton round. Or what I like to do, I learned this little hack, is put it in a spray bottle and mist my face. I think that feels really good. So I mist the toner on and I'll do that several times throughout the day just to keep my face hydrated. So toner is the third step. And then the fourth step is serum. So restore using the serum. And this serum is one of my top favorite Young Levine products. Um, it has orchid extract in it and all those steps prepare your skin um, to kind of absorb this and really get really hydrated. If you've done those other steps first before you use um, the serum, the renewal serum. And then after all that is when I put on my Sheer Lume. So I don't use my Sheer Lume until I've done all that unless maybe I didn't exfoliate. So that's one of the steps that you may or may not do. But then Sheer Lume is in the step of moisturizing. Now you could use it as your moisturizer or you could use a moisturizer on top of it, which is what I often do. So it's kind of a lot of steps, but before you use this, you're gonna have a better response or notice more changes if you've kind of prepped your skin with cleansing, exfoliating, toning, restoring, and then using the brightening cream. And I wanna talk about this because I didn't know anything about anything like this before, and I noticed like a lot of changes with my skin I've even noticed a difference because it's been out of stock for a long time and I've just been using it. I overnighted it when it came back because I was like, oh my gosh. So I overnighted it and I've been using it for what, maybe five days. I don't remember what day it came back, but I already notice a difference in a dark spot that I have on, on my forehead in just five days. So um, I want to talk about why and what's in it because I think it's really important. So um, some of the ingredients, well, what it's for is improving skin tone and it is for um, kind of brightening and illuminating just the appearance of your complexion. So it, that's why it's called the brightening cream. But the ingredients that are in it are also helping us so that we don't have those age spots, the dullness, the rough texture, which those things are actually what makes your skin look older, more than even wrinkles or fine lines, is more that kind of texture of our skin. So that's what this is helping us with. And this helps us to have like more, you know, kind of radiant, hydrated, flawless looking skin. So um, some of the ingredients that are in it, it has Madonna uh, lily leaf extract. And let me see if I have some more information about that. That just helps to brighten. So um, Kakadu plum is another ingredient that's in there. Um, and it is 
The kakadu plum is a natural like um, substitute for, sometimes people put in synthetic vitamin C um, when they're making skincare products. So this is a natural form of vitamin C, the kakadu plum, and we all need more vitamin C in our skin and in our supplements and in our diet because vitamin C is really helpful for um, skin complexion and skin tone. I mean, we know it's also great for the immune system and things like that as well. Uh, then it has licorice root extract, which is for balancing the tone of your skin. And let's see, go to cola and then manoli oil. I was like, what's manoli oil? And it is plumeria oil. So I, I am really sensitive to, um, like I have a hard time using skincare products if I don't like the smell of them. So anything that I put on my face, I really have to enjoy the aroma of, otherwise I just can't use it. It makes me feel nauseous, you know? So I love the smell of Sheer Lume. It's not super strong or super floral, but it is kind of has like a more um, feminine aroma to it. So I want to talk about the oils that are in here as well. Um, other than that plumeria or the manoli, um, it also has royal Hawaiian sandalwood, which is incredible for skin and smells amazing. It has cypress, it has jasmine, it has vetiver, blue cypress, geranium, or blue cypress, not cypress, um, geranium, frankincense, and then Davana, an oil called Davana, which you've probably not ever heard of before because Young Living does not sell Davana as a single oil. It's only in this. And I think um, a, one other blend that you get when you go to beauty school, they give you a special blend um, that you only get when you attend a beauty school um, of oil. So anyway, it smells incredible. And I think what I love about Sheer Lume even more than like the way it smells is when you put it on your skin, like when I rub it on my skin, it feels like silk. Like it has this very silky feel. Like I started out just using a tiny bit of it. So I was like, oh, I want to let this last forever. And then I got to the point where I was like, I want to put Sheer Lume like everywhere. But I know people use it on the back of their hands. Like if you start to get sunspots or dark spots on the back of your hands or, you know, places that get exposed to a lot of sun, like your, your chest, people will, you know, put it on other places. So I'm like, I want Sheer Lume all over the place. Um, so that's how I use it. That's a little bit about what's in it. And I hope that helps you guys. Let me see if you have any questions about it. I wasn't looking um, as I was talking here. Let me know if you have any questions about it. But um, I see all of you guys on here. Thanks for joining me. Oh, yay, Carrie, you got yours today. Leana, you need to try it. Yes, you do. Um, you're welcome, Melanie. So thanks for joining. And that is a little bit about why I love Shirley May so much. And it really um, truly is one of my, like, I feel like I can't live without it. So I ordered like one on my account and one on my husband's account. And I'm just going to make sure that I order extra because I can feel a difference in my skin. I can see a difference in my skin in the five days, I think probably about five days that I've been using it every morning and every night. Oh, and one thing that I do actually is after I put the Shirley May on, so it could be your fifth step, your moisturizer because we cleanse, we exfoliate, we tone, we restore, and then we moisturize. So it could be your fifth step and that could be your moisturizer, or you could put moisturizer on top of that. So I actually double up and I put on either the Art um, Daily Moisturizer during the day um, or at night, my favorite moisturizer is the Art Intensive Moisturizer and this is a little thicker. And what I do with this is I actually add a drop of uh, blue tansy which makes it like a light blue. I'll have to do a separate video on that. It's amazing So if you have blue tansy oil and you don't know how to use it It looks black like squid ink like it would stain your diffuser It would stain your skin You can add it in a roller with carrier and other oils and use it like as a roller Or you can use it with a moisturizer and one drop mixed with your moisturizer and rubbed over your skin Another thing people do with blue tansy is they put it in their shampoo and they use it for their hair. Um, it's especially good for like people who have highlights or have blonde hair, lighter hair. Um, so that's another way to use blue tansy, but that's another video. But I do put moisturizer over the Sheer Lume, so I kind of like double up. All right. Hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for joining. Talk to you later. Bye.